Kirby. Uh, can I have that? Here, I make a pie. Can I, can I borrow this? Thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. Alright, let's go make a pie. I just picked up this awesome cookbook, The Good Book of Southern Baking by Kelly Fields, and I figured I'd do something from it because all the recipes in here look amazing. I chose to do apple streusel pie because this is our last week of Ren Fair foods. To get started, I'm going to make a pretty standard pie dough. Flour, salt, frozen butter that I shred on a box grater, mix it all together in a stand mixer until there's a pretty small crumb forming. Uh, then I'm going to slowly stream in a mixture of cold water and vinegar until I reach a consistency where everything starts to come together, pull away from the bowl, and is nice and firm. And right here is about the consistency I'm looking for, and you can keep adding water until it's right. I wrap it in saran wrap and stick it in the fridge for about four hours. This is a really important step to let your dough relax and for the butter in it to get cold again after you just worked it a bunch. Once out of the fridge, you're going to flour your work surface and your rolling pin and evenly roll out your dough until about a quarter inch thick, uh, turning it as you go. Uh, I like to turn it counterclockwise and roll it out a little bit and continue to roll it. Don't worry about these ragged edges, you're going to trim those off later. Here's a little nifty trick so you can get your pie into the tin. Uh, you can roll it up onto your rolling pin and then roll it back out into whatever you're going to bake it in. And I'm just going to clean up the edges with my kitchen shears. I want it to be about even all the way around. I'm going to fold some of this under, so it's not it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you can see me folding it under here. Uh, that's going to make it so that we have an even space to do our crimping. Uh, as I go around and crimp with two fingers and my thumb, you could also use a fork to crimp it here. And then I crumple up some parchment paper, and instead of pie weights, I like to use sugar. This is a trick I learned from uh, amazing baker Stella Parks, and it only lends more flavor to your sugar over time. While we do a blind bake on that pie crust for about uh, 15 minutes, I'm going to make my streusel. That consists of toasted pecans, some sugar, some flour, some orange zest, and it gets all pulsed together in my KitchenAid here. Uh, once everything is nice and pulsed, uh, we're gonna also drizzle in some melted butter. Uh, the melted butter, once it's at it, uh, you're looking for it to look like this as a finished product. Nice and crumbly, but still kind of sticks together in areas. Okay, so here's the part that I think did me in the long run for this pie. Uh, I'm peeling, coring, and then cutting up my apples and putting them in this lemon water so they don't oxidize. But unfortunately, disaster is about to strike, and I, I don't, you don't want to leave them in this water too long because they will definitely hold on to a lot of it. And uh, if you do this method, I highly suggest giving it plenty of time for the excess water to drain off, maybe pat it dry a little. Uh, you want to have the right amount of water so that like your pie is nice and thick and any of like the liquids that come off of it start to thicken when you add the you know the flour and the spices and such speaking of uh, it's brown sugar flour nutmeg cinnamon throw that all together and we'll whisk it up to mix with my apples so as you can see Uh, power has gone out. Obi is very worried. Hopefully we get this resolved quick. Three hours later. Okay, so in the middle of par baking this crust, my power went out. My crust didn't bake properly. My apples had to sit in the water too long. And I had to rig up some extra lighting to continue filming. But if you're doing this at home, just follow these steps and yours will turn out fine. Uh, to the apples, I'm adding some honey, some lemon juice, and the spice sugar flour mixture I made earlier. Uh, it's going to look like too many apples in this pie crust, but they will cook down and your pie will be fine in the end. Uh, you top with the streusel and in the oven it goes. Now, it looks gorgeous. 
Uh, it tastes delicious, but uh, underneath the surface hides a secret that I found out the very next day. You cut into that bad boy and learn uh, everything went awry. You tried your best because your power went out. <sighs> but it's not perfect. Alas, it happens to the best of us. Alright everyone, we're gonna do a bit of a post-mortem here. Uh, because the pie didn't turn out exactly how I expected it to. Um, obviously, there's some factors of that. Um, including the fact that my power went out halfway through. So, uh, the good thing about pie is that it's almost always edible. Uh, this, like I said, it is not holding its shape. And that's really unfortunate. But all the ingredients are still good. So, I'm still going to eat this. Uh, I'm probably going to, let's do a bite right now figure out what went wrong. So, there's a couple of things that I did. Um, it tastes good, no doubt about it. Um, the bottom was really liquidy. Um, I don't know um, that's probably a little bit of a product of it being in the in the water, the acidic water that I had for a long time. Um, simply because I couldn't do anything with the apples. I was planning to throw them into the pie and then had to wait three hours. Uh, so it's probably a combination of that um, as well as uh, the par bake on the pie crust not being able to take as long. Uh, it was only in the oven for like five minutes before the power went out. Um, I threw it in again after. I was hoping for the best, um, but it definitely could have used a little bit more time. Uh, yeah, all that extra liquid made it so that the, the apples uh, didn't get that like, uh, like thick texture that would hold up the entire pie. And... You know, you live and you learn. Um, like I said, it tastes really good. And I bet if I throw it in the microwave and put some ice cream on top, it would be just as good, if not better. So uh, hopefully uh, you, you enjoyed getting to watch me fail a little bit today. Uh, failure always teaches us something. Uh, specifically in cooking, uh, where we can go and improve the next time. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Uh, leave a comment with your favorite pie uh, in the comment section below, and uh, I'll tell you what mine is. <laughs>